Our founder, Dr. Henry Viscardi Jr., who opened the doors to our organization in 1952, was a true entrepreneur and he too had a disability. Dr. Viscardi, who wore prosthetic legs, was a well-known advocate for the disability community and served as an advisor to eight U.S. presidents on disability issues. But one of his biggest accomplishments was establishing and operating what would become a model for the world. Our organization demonstrated that disabled veterans from World War II and the Korean War had the skills and abilities to be successful, productive employees. It provided assembly and factory work for several industry giants such as Grumman and General Electric and IBM and even the U.S. Department of Defense and was the first U.S. business to be staffed primarily by people with disabilities. Encouraged and supported by former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, businessman Bernard Baruch and the renowned physiatrist Dr. Howard Rusk, all household names today, Dr. Viscardi set out to prove that people with disabilities can help themselves if only given a chance. In one year's time, he created new jobs for 57 disabled men and women, all of whom others felt were unemployable, sold nearly $200,000 worth of goods, and closed out that first year with a $48,000 profit. Within five years, it grew to be a million-dollar business with more than 300 employees and a shiny new plant of its own. I'd call him a successful entrepreneur. Let's fast forward to today. Nearly 70 years later, and 30 years after the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act, people with disabilities still face the same grim employment outlook that Dr. Viscardi experienced that led him to the founding of the Viscardi Center in the first place. Here are the facts. The labor force participation rate for those of us with disabilities is less than one-third of the general populations. Our unemployment rate is on average twice that of people without disabilities, no matter our education level. We're underrepresented in high-wage positions, and we face multiple barriers to traditional employment, bias, transportation, accessibility, just to name a few. That's where, for the 30 million of us of working age, the National Center for Disability Entrepreneurship can be a strategic pathway to combat our widespread unemployment and underemployment. NCDE is dedicated to empowering innovative self-starters to self-employment success and a natural extension of our mission to educate, employ, and empower youth, adults, and veterans with disabilities. <music>